Hello everyone, this is Nikki and welcome back to another episode of Hollywood Buzz where I'm going to update you with the latest and the juiciest information happening in Hollywood. J.D. Lawrence's case has been ruled out by the judge this past Thursday against the movie Barbershop The Next Cut. J.D. Lawrence did file a case against this movie stating that this movie would damage him beyond repair. However, the judge has ruled out his case. According to the report, Lawrence went after Warner Brothers and Showtime for the Barbershop movies and TV series, saying that there were uncanny similarities to scenes from his stage play Scissors. Lawrence asked for at least $20 million in damages. A rep for Warner Brothers and MGM told a source, We are pleased the judge saw through this thinly veiled attempt to extort the companies that have invested over 14 years and millions of dollars to bring the beloved barbershop franchise to audiences worldwide. So are there similarities between J.D. Lawrence's Scissors and Barbershop TV series and movies? I guess we'll find out after the release of The Barbershop The Next Cut. <music> Jessica Alba's 10-year-old movie is being sued by Honey Boo Hoo. Honey Boo Hoo states that there are many similarities between her and the character Honey in the movie. When Jessica Alba busted out her moves in Honey, a movie universally hailed as horrible, it was a blatant ripoff of real-life Bronx B-girl Honey Rockwell, or so claims Rockwell, who's suing the filmmakers. Rockwell, a hip-hop dancer and teacher, says she adopted the Honey stage name back in 1994, 10 years before the movie's release, according to the court documents. In the lawsuit, Rockwell says the movie is a carbon copy of her life because Alva's character shares her name, ethnicity, occupation, and the same hood. She says they even use the same dance studio where she taught. But she says the filmmakers did one thing wrong. They never got her permission. Rockwell faces an uphill battle where she's waited 10 years to sue. That said, she's demanding her fair share of more than $70 million, which was generated by Honey and its sequel. It seems that there are a lot of similarities between the real-life Honey Boo Hoo and the Honey in the movie. However, this is a case for the judge to decide, and let's just hope that the truth prevails. Eva Mendez and Ryan Gosling are expecting again and they're about to have their second child and we're sure that the first child, 17-month-old Esmeralda, might be really excited. Congratulations are in order for Eva Mendez and Ryan Gosling. The gorgeous actress is pregnant with the happy couple's second child according to a new report. Eva was already hiding a pretty big bump at the photo shoot back in February. The couple already has a 17-month-old daughter, Esmeralda, and during Eva's first pregnancy, they were able to keep the news a secret until she was in her seventh month. These A-listers have been an incredibly private couple since meeting on the set of The Place Behind the Pines in 2011 and haven't even shared a photo of their surely adorable baby girl since her birth in September 2014. Although they were very secretive about this pregnancy also, we have discovered that they are pregnant for the second time and we wish this couple all the very best with their second child. Looks like Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez are on again from their on and off again breakup. Justin Bieber totally loved Selena Gomez's new GQ cover where she looked ravishing. Selena Gomez looks incredible in her new GQ spread and Justin Bieber has totally noticed. The on-off couple is in contact once again and Justin made a point to let Selena know how impressed he is with her shoot. Justin saw the GQ photos of Selena and is in awe of how sexy and beautiful she looks. He even reached out to congratulate her and let her know that she's never looked better. 
The duo both attended the iHeartRadio Music Awards on April 3rd, and although Selena made sure not to be in the audience when the Beeps was performing, she was seen applauding for him when he won an award later on. They didn't hang out much at the show, but afterward, Justin did reach out, our sources confirm. They're back on good terms. They still talk on a regular basis, but when they're too busy, they stay in touch with texts to check up on each other. There's still a lot of love and tenderness there. Selena Gomez has officially won Justin Bieber back with her GQ photo shoot, which is incredibly hot. So let's hope they stay together and this time Hailey Baldwin stays out of the picture. Megan Fox and Ryan Austin Green are pregnant with their third child. However, this does not mean that the divorce is off. Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green are soon to be proud parents yet again with their third child is born. However, that does not mean that they're calling off their pending divorce. Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green seem cozier than ever since the news of Megan's pregnancy with their third child broke on April 11th. The couple was mid-divorce when they found out about the baby. And even though they look happy together, a source tells us that they're still going through with the divorce. They both love each other and are great parents and understand they're part of each other's lives forever, but they just can't get the marriage thing right. The baby is not a marriage savior, and they still probably will go through the divorce, but it is going to be after Megan gives birth. Just a slight delay in what was going to happen regardless. They just aren't committed to each other to sustain a marriage anymore. Marriage is a beautiful thing, and we hope that this baby that's on the way will bring these two lovebirds back together and that they stay together forever. Scott Eastwood has been added to the cast of Furious 8. However, he might have a little bit of trouble with one of his co-stars, Michelle Rodriguez. Michelle Rodriguez is pissed. She's definitely not happy that the dashing Scott Eastwood will be replacing her dear friend Paul Walker in the upcoming Furious 8 movie, and she made sure the world knew it, saying nobody will ever fill that role. However, Scott isn't filling the same role as Paul, he's just filling the void that he left. Michelle doesn't have a problem with that. I'm happy he's on board, he's a cool actor. Scott himself definitely understands what Paul meant to the group and explained on Instagram what he meant to him. Paul was a close friend of mine. We surfed together, traveled together, and he was a huge role model and influencing figure in my life when I was younger. He still is. He was an older brother to me. So Scott Eastwood is not replacing Paul Walker. He's simply just playing another character in the movie, Furious 8. So we cannot wait to see this movie, and we hope that some bits of Paul Walker will be in this movie. to an end of this episode of Hollywood Buzz. I'm Nikki and make sure you subscribe to us on Roku and also we upload all of our videos on YouTube and follow us on all of our social media, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and make sure you keep watching Hollywood Buzz.